Ian. Uh, Doom. Doom. Came out 25 years ago already in, in uh, 93, 2018. One of I, my I, favorite games I of had, all time. I had it on shareware discs. I had it. I had the two black the shareware discs for the knee, the deep, install. knee Deep in the Dead, the first of the three campaigns of Doom. Yep. I remember my dad bringing uh, Doom 2 home in the big box and uh, all of us sitting down to play it. I remember my dad suddenly not giving a shit about violence in video games when that game came out and being like, let's all sit down and play Doom because I want to play Doom and there's no way I'm going to be able to say no or make excuses about this one. <clears throat> but uh, obviously Doom was a hugely important uh, you know, game. Um, we have a friend who you know, uh, doesn't like Doom so much, uh, my friend Joey. I don't want to get into that right now. I mean, this is a, this is a festive, uh, a festive podcast, not a lot of negativity. Um, so, I mean, we could sit here and wax a ton about Doom, but what's very cool is for the 25th anniversary, uh, John Romero, one of the co-creators of Doom, is putting out a uh, new level pack, a new WAD file. A uh, mega wad. A even. mega wad. It's going to have 18 levels. It's going to have nine single-player levels and nine multiplayer levels. So just real quick, a wad is a custom level that you create for Doom. So going back to my Doom trips for the gurus, big ass book and, and editing software. I that had that exact I, one. Yeah, they just, it was like 20, 30 bucks and you got this like thousand page book. You got like eight different editors and you can create your own levels fairly easily. You could do it. And then you go into your DOS prompt and you load up the wad into Doom and it boots into it. So I guess a mega wad is a term for, here's an entire campaign. Like here's it's all. A, a, a list of these. Well, a wad could a, a, a wad can be multiple levels in and of itself. Sure. So I think megawad is just a funny sounding term. Um, <laughs> but nine single player and nine deathmatch levels. Oh, I've played Doom Deathmatch in forever. Yeah. Now I want to again. So <laughs> this is this is awesome for a lot of reasons. One, because it's it's new levels for the original Doom created by the dude. I mean, it's it's, sure. it's Romero so it's, doing it's it. It's an unofficial sure. sequel, spiritual successor to yeah, the original. It, you know. So, it, as as he says, it's 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 essentially um, it, it's going to pick up after um, the third episode of the original Doom, which is New Even Dead and, uh, and Shores of Hell, I think. Inferno. Yeah. Inferno. Inferno. Yes. Where does uh, where does Final Doom fall into the timeline? Is that like out somewhere? Like there's Doom, Doom Two, and then Final Doom is not Doom Three. Um, <laughs> So that's very cool. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be blisteringly difficult, and I can't wait to play them. But the nine new deathmatch levels is actually what appeals to me because as much Doom was the first game I played in deathmatch, and I played a lot of deathmatch it was one Doom of my, with yeah, friends. I played it too. Um, peer to peer connection, yep. even and uh, host modem, you know all that stuff. But the Doom's levels were not particularly well structured for deathmatch. They were structured for single player or co-op. Yes, because they're giant levels. A lot of you don't run into each other easily. Yeah. And, and there were some levels that you know managed to be pretty good deathmatch levels. Um, the last level, for instance, in episode one, was a really good deathmatch level. But it'll be fun to find some friends and actually play these new deathmatch levels and see how they are, um, you know, made, you know, to see some official new deathmatch levels that were made specifically for it. I think that would be a lot of fun. So in addition to the free megawad, uh, Sigil, am I saying that correctly? Sigil. They're announcing, uh, limited runs doing some fun stuff. Uh, limited edition fan boxes. Uh, so the, just the boxes, I guess, not not uh like anything in them. If you want the box, no, there's like, stuff in them. Oh, there's gonna be stuff in them. Yeah. So basically, the, the oh, megawatt. Is, I didn't read because I'm an idiot. Yeah, the megawatt is free, but limited runs doing some really really neat. How did stuff. I not hear about this before? They're doing some really neat stuff. So the sigil beast box is the. <laughs> I uh, want this. I this is the limit. This is the big one. It's 166 bucks. Okay. A 16 gigabyte, three and a half inch floppy disk themed USB. That's awesome. With uh with the mega the free megawatt data and actually. Extras, a two-disc booklet-style case with the Megawatt data and full Buckethead soundtrack, as well as behind-the-scenes info of the original game and the Megawatt's development, an 8x10 art print, a sigil-themed coin, and then <laughs> the fun one, a pewter statue of John Romero's head on a spike. 
Okay. And then an XL size sigil T-shirt and one sigil sticker and one Romero game. So that's sticker. the that's the deluxe one. There's that's a, the deluxe one. There's a standard one. And then the standard one is the uh, just a standard size big box featuring artwork by Christopher Lavelle, 16 gigabyte, three and a half inch floppy USB, etc. Buckethead soundtrack and the two stickers. But um, okay. that Peter statue of Romero's head, if I'm not mistaken, harkens back to. Um, uh, the last level of Doom 2, Icon of Sin. If you cheat that level and, and clip through the Icon of Sin, it's his head there. And if you chainsaw it, you can cheat and beat the level that way. I'm trying to find the picture of his head on a spike on the I don't see it, site. but it's... Okay, so the re- standard edition is uh, 40 bucks. Yep. For the standard one with the box. So when you say 166, you get you get sticker shock, but uh, the pewter head might be worth it. Oh, the USB, it's adorable, the little disc with the USB. Yeah, on it. That's adorable. That's a, that, that's a thing now. So in some way, people are still making uh, uh, three and a half floppies, uh, which is funny. So my question is this. Oh, by the way, I looked up Final Doom is just like a mod pack, official mod pack of right. Doom 2. I didn't know that. Because I ha- I owned it, and I didn't really... I don't think I ever played it. It's really. just got a bunch of new it's levels. It's cool. Black box. Black box. I had it, but I never really played it back in the day. Um, so I have... I've downloaded uh, the good old games. I have Doom and Doom 2. I downloaded because it was on sale for like a dollar. Right. stupid not to buy it. So I, I'm hoping there's an easy way to use that to load up these wads. Is, 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 yeah, it is, says you just, need, you just need the official registered version of it. And um, it's... Uh, da, 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 I don't have to go into like a DOS prompt and do it. <laughs> I would hope no. it's probably done for you. You click on something and it accesses the it, game and loads it up. Yeah, there's a way to just... Yeah, there's a way to load them. It's pretty easy. All right. I'm going to be playing some Doom in 2019. You heard it here first. We'll do some deathmatch. Yep, it'll be fun. And and, and I, don't, I don't think as a kid I ever played using a mouse. I'll have to get used to, use, get used to using a mouse. I'm just going to um, use a keyboard. It's the easiest way to do it. Use a keyboard, not a controller. I think I used a graphics gamepad. That's what I used when I was a kid. It worked. I mean, if you're not playing any of the modified versions of Doom, a keyboard is still the easiest way to do it. How do you turn on it? Left, you, right, you, right, up, do down, you, left, right. How do you use a strafe? Shift. Oh, you, oh, oh hold, okay. Hold down shift, left, back, left, right. All right, right that works too. Yeah. That works too. That's yeah. A lot of those early first-person shooters using a mouse is not the smoothest uh, oh, to sucks. control. Um, so all right, keyboard all the way. All right, so Doom, one of the one of the most important video games ever, most influential, and uh, Joey's crazy when it comes to his opinion on it. I yeah. guess. Yeah.